Another powerful symbol of acknowledging painful memories has been assembled in Toronto. But for years, the massive monument for victims of child abuse has been kept out of sight from the public. Christina Stevens has that story. I will be heard. My hands free from the guilt inflicted on me. May hope be passed through every hand. Each hand is the cast of a child abuse survivor. Each square poured straight from their hearts. The heart represents the fact that it was my stepfather who was the abuser. So it not only broke trust, but it literally broke my heart as well. The monument, the first in Canada to be dedicated to child abuse survivors. It's been a 20-year work of passion for Dr. Michael Irving. He's had to rely on donations for the bronze sculpture. So many heartbreaking messages. This one, my hand is strong, so you can't see the fear of the child inside of me. So touch my hand and feel my pain and promise to never let it happen again. There's supposed to be a matching second half, but there's no room for it here. So the molds have been left sprawled out in storage. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Where Irving has just found thousands of hours of work and thousands of dollars worth of molds have been destroyed. <laughs> Emotions bubble over, especially for those whose messages have been trampled on. Joanne Burns had hoped her square would speak for her. And sort of say that it's not just about the pain, it's about the hope, it's about the, the strength and the courage and, and the pervasiveness. We need a monument to say what people can't say, which is we hear you. But after two decades, they're left wondering if anyone is listening. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.